Well, it's tax time. Happy Valentine's Day, Alan Rowell from the Accounting Place. How you doing, Bob? How good. are you today? Always good to see you, even though we know why you're here. But you do help ah, us with our refunds. You know what? I got a problem. No, I got nothing but good news today. Okay. You know? Well, let's start I, with I, let's start with what's those new. Playing cats, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are some uh, changes uh, for uh, 2021 tax returns. Can you walk us through them? Yeah, there is. There's a, there's a bunch of things. This year, there's there's not a lot of big, huge tax changes. What there is is a number of different things that I'm going to call tinkering. I think I think what's happened is somebody up there thought they had to do something in order to make their job work. So one of the things that's changed <laughs> that works to our benefit is um, the working tax or the working from home credit. You'll remember that last year they brought in, because people were working from home, they brought in a flat credit of $400. It was $2 a day, yeah. 200 days, flat credit of $400. Well, this year they've left that there again, uh, but they've increased it to $500. So now, our, because our hydro bills are up and everything, I guess we get $500. However, it's still $2 a day. That means we now work 250 days. A uh, couple of little qualifications there to get it. The other thing that's changed for this year is the educator tax credit because the, the you know the kids and the teachers and everybody were you know schooling from home and in and out and in and yeah. out. Uh, so what they've done there is they've raised the allowable expenses for the teachers to to set up and be able to teach from home. It's up to a thousand dollars now and it's twenty or twenty five percent tax credit. And we'll also include laptops, webcams, all those different types of things. The change that's going to affect just about everybody is going to be the climate action incentive. We've had that for a few years now, ever since the carbon tax thing came in. And, and it's always been a direct tax credit on the tax return. So um, a single person would have gotten a $300 credit on their tax return. It would have been wrapped into the refund or reduced their bill. That was the end of it. For this year, moving forward, what they're doing is taking that off of the tax return. It's no longer going to be a credit there, but they're going to mail you a check three times or four times a year every three months. Hmm. So the credit stays the same, but you don't get the credit up front anymore. You get it every quarter. Okay. So tinkering. Right. Okay. Well, it's certainly, you know, during COVID, you know, the returns have been complicated and many individuals have had to deal with CERB and, as you mentioned, another COVID income support repayment. So how is this being handled? Well, that's, that's great because you'll remember last year they said if you, if you repaid your CERB in 2020, um, we don't know about it and, you know, you can't have the deduction and we don't know what we're going to do. So for this year, they got it all put together. And what's going to happen is people that have received the, the relief benefits over the course of the two years are going to receive a, a T4 slip or a T4A slip for the income received in 2021. But they're also going to receive on there a re, all the repayments that they've made, regardless of whether it was 2020 when the repayment was or whether it was 2021. What they've done is they've allowed you to make that deduction on the repayment on either year. So if you collected in 2020, income was way down, repaid it in 2021, back to work, you know, income is up, then we're going to take the deduction in 2021. If it works the other way around, we'll take the deduction in 2020 and make the changes backwards. So what's ended up happening is we got a little bit of flexibility there where we can do what is to the best overall advantage right. okay. of that person or that family unit. Okay. Sadly, we've run out of time, but there's also a staycation tax credit for the 2022 year. So oh. what we'll do is we'll link up uh, your website at chch.com so a Morning Live viewers can follow up and find out more about that and everything else they need to know for this year's return. Not a problem. You guys have a great day. Happy Valentine's Happy Day, Happy Valentine's, Alan.